everybody, it's Molly A from Girl Meets Farm here, and today we are gonna be making Hanukkah donuts for Sufganyo. These are inspired by the donuts that I made every year for Hanukkah with my mom growing up, and they're one of my favorite parts of the holidays. These are perfect for Hanukkah or Christmas. So if you're cooking along with me, make sure you have some oil heating up in a pot that's fitted with a candy thermometer. You want it to heat to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Also have a pastry bag fitted with a tip. Anywhere between a quarter inch to a half inch is good, and it can be a round tip or a star tip. And then also get some cream cheese softening to room temperature, because that's going in our filling. Let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is the hardest part. It's opening up a can of store-bought biscuit dough. And frying up biscuit dough is something that I used to do with my mom. I remember the year that she read about this hack. And when I was little, I thought it was the coolest thing ever. So, ah, still scares me to this day. <laughs> That's always the scariest moment of this recipe. <laughs> so I'm using these big buttermilk biscuits and I'm gonna separate them out. You know, the holidays are so busy, so I will take any easy hack like this and they're gonna be so good. We're gonna fry up our donuts and we're gonna fry them in multiple batches. We don't wanna overcrowd our pot because if we do that, the temperature of the oil is gonna drop and that's actually gonna make your donuts feel oily and greasy, which you don't want. So go ahead and gently lower a couple of your biscuits into the oil. And you really only need to fry these for a couple of minutes, just until they're golden on the bottom, and then we're gonna flip them until they're golden on the other side. And you should be getting some sizzles around the edges of your dough. And then grab a slotted spoon or a spatula, and you can move them around. Make sure that there's a little bit of space in between each of the biscuits so that they can get cooked evenly on all sides. They're already starting to get golden. So I don't know what you guys are planning on doing for your Hanukkah, but in our house, we do book Hanukkah, and each night of Hanukkah, we get new books. So Bernie is gonna be getting eight new books. She loves books. She particularly loves eating them, which is fine. <laughs> We're ready to flip. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, look at that golden brown. Oh, I can't wait to eat these. As you can see, I'm frying in a cast iron pot. If you have one, use that to fry. It maintains the temperature of the oil really nicely. How are your sufganyo looking? Are you smelling this? The smell of sufganyo is the smell of Hanukkah. I think these are ready to come out of the fryer. How do yours look? So now gently transfer them to your plate or pan. And then we'll fry out the second batch. How beautiful is that? Look at that color. I can tell that that exterior is gonna be a little bit crisp and the interior is gonna be so soft and fluffy. Now it's time for us to stick our second batch in. Anytime you're adding anything to hot oil, be very careful. Don't actually drop it, just place it in gently. Be careful that your fingers don't get too close to the oil. And I like transferring my donuts to a pan lined with the wire rack. That allows the oil to drip off. You could also use a plate lined with a paper towel, but I prefer a wire rack because it keeps that nice crisp texture on the bottom. So these donuts, when they're fresh out of the fryer, which is when they're best, they have a slightly crisp exterior and a soft and fluffy interior. And then when we get the filling inside, that's gonna add even more textural excitement. These are ready to flip. They're so pretty. So again, we're gonna flip these over and let them fry on the other side now for a couple of minutes until they're this gorgeous golden brown color. How are your donuts looking? Are they looking golden brown and impressive? Now let's let these cool for a bit while we make our filling. We are gonna be making a cranberry cream cheese filling, which is tangy and sweet and really, really rich. It's gonna be perfect inside of these donuts. So grab a bowl and then get your softened cream cheese and a small spatula to stir it. And dump the cream cheese right into the bowl. And then we're gonna add some cranberry sauce. 
Maybe it's left over from Thanksgiving. I don't know. You can pretty much use any jam here because any jam plus cream cheese inside of a fried piece of dough is delicious. Add a nice big plop. We're going for about a third of a cup, but this is the type of thing that you could eyeball. And then mix it up and it's that easy. So the cranberry is gonna add a beautiful natural pink color and that tart cranberry flavor. And then the cream cheese is gonna keep this filling thick and rich and creamy. It's gonna be delicious. So traditionally, soufganiyot are filled with jelly. I like bulking it up with cream cheese to add that richness and tanginess and texture. And I also like using a jam or a preserve here because I love those big pieces of fruit that are in there. You're really not gonna go wrong. So experiment and have fun with this. Why don't you give your filling a taste to make sure that there's enough cranberry sauce in there to your liking. Mmm, mmm. I love the flavor of cream cheese. And the cranberry sauce adds the perfect amount of sweetness. If you feel like you wanna add more cranberry sauce, go right ahead and do that now. Otherwise, we are ready to fill. Grab your piping bag and fold the sides down. This is gonna make it easy and clean to fill your piping bag. It'll prevent you from getting any of the filling on the outside and making a mess. And then hold it in one hand while you scoop it up with the other hand and plop your filling right in. Scrape it off. And if you don't have a piping bag, use a zip top bag with the corner snipped off. Now, fold up the sides and then smoosh it down toward that tip. Twist the top so that the filling doesn't come out the back as you're squeezing. And then when you squeeze your piping bag, make sure that you're holding the twisted area between your thumb and your pointer finger, and then use your other fingers to apply pressure, and that's gonna make the filling come out. So, let's get piping. This is my favorite part, other than eating. So, all you're gonna do is stick the tip right into the top of the donuts and squeeze. Oh, can you smell those freshly fried donuts? Put in as much filling as will fit. And then you can add a little extra to the top. I think that that looks so pretty. Stick the piping tip straight down into the top of the donut. Wiggle it around to create some space. Make sure you're not going all the way to the bottom of the donut. And then fill up that opening with the filling. And then release the pressure. And there you go. Yay. I love the way these look. These are the best when they're fresh. So ideally you should eat these within an hour of them being made. Now for the finishing touch, let's dust some powdered sugar all over them. Grab a little sifter like this and your powdered sugar. And then make it snow all over the donuts. And don't be shy with the powdered sugar here. The biscuits aren't really sweet by themselves, so these can take a lot of powdered sugar. And look how pretty that is. It's snowing on the farm. Don't be alarmed if the powdered sugar covers up that gorgeous filling that you just piped, because when the powdered sugar soaks into the filling, you'll be able to see it again. And that's it. How easy was that? And how good do they smell? We should probably taste them right now. Let me get a serving plate. To serve, I like piling these high on a smaller plate. It's all about presentation on the holidays. And there you have it, our cranberry cream cheese stuffed soup out. They smell so good and they weren't even that hard to make. Okay, I've gotta have a taste. Mmm. Oh, that filling. So good. Is there anything better than a freshly fried donut? I hope you guys agree. Enjoy.